It's the real deal back with another Ray Channel video and today we are going to look at the Great Hall um, So arena bonuses have been added and how you get currency for this is by doing live arena to get live arena crests And then you can spend these crests to upgrade your Great Hall um, So it's broken up into potion keeps, dungeons and then clan bosses um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you general advice for early to end game so you can best plan and strategize how you are going to invest into your great hall so we'll start with clan boss or aka demon lord because this is where you get the best rewards in the game so if you're early game um you may want to put some points into hp and defense i wouldn't go in too hard because ideally you want to build like an unkillable team that can one key ultra nightmare um and then you may want to do more damage. So you bring in ignore defense first and then you want to do crit damage. However, if you look at my point of view, so I'm an end game player and I can one key ultra nightmare. I'm not going to put anything into clan boss because it's going to waste my resources. However, say, you know, I'm very close to one king ultra nightmare. Then I might want to invest into ignore defense and then crit damage. The other thing you could do so I've got a Draco Morph. Draco Morph needs a lot of stats. First of all, he needs Relentless Gear. Then he needs uh, Accuracy to land his poisons. Then he needs Crit Damage, 100% Crit Rate, and the right speed so he can do all of his, you know, so he can do loads of damage. So what you might want to do is then basically pump loads of points into Accuracy. And if you get to the bomb, that's 80. That is basically almost a six star banner. So you could drop your um, accuracy banner and swap it out for an attack banner so you can do more damage. So that's definitely something worth considering to do. But I would say for most players, you probably want to try to avoid putting points into clan boss. And one thing you definitely do not want to do, nobody should be touching speed. This could really mess up so much speed tuning and make it even harder to speed tune um, unkillable team comps or just even other team comps as well. So definitely stay away from uh, putting any speed into this. Next up, I'd probably prioritize Hydra. Um, obviously, Hydra is a great place to get Stone Skin, which is one of the best sets in the game. Also, it's a really good place to get Soul Stones as well, so you can awaken your champions. So yeah, um, definitely would be worth focusing on Hydra. I'd say if you're sort of early to mid game, I probably wouldn't put too much into Hydra right now. Um, and would invest later when I can sort of get onto hard and brutal. So at the moment I can only farm brutal, but I want to start progressing into nightmare. So to do that, I'm going to focus on um, defense first and then HP. Then I want to look at damage. So um, I've already got the resistance and accuracy that I need. So I don't need to start investing into that just yet. And then what I want to do is start working on igni uh, ignore defense. So I'm doing more damage to the Hydra Heads, taking them down faster. If a Hydra Head is knocked out, they can't do any damage to you. And plus you do bonus damage as well. Then I was focus on um, crit damage. Then I'd probably bring in some resistance as well. So it stops the Head of Mischief, stealing buff from all of my champions. And then I'd probably start focusing on a bit of accuracy. So with dungeons, that would be what I'd be looking at next. Spider Den, I wouldn't touch it. There's already team comps that can do this. Um, and you basically just need two enemy max HP champions. And what they'll do is one hits the spiderlings, then the second one kills the spiderlings. This does a huge amount of damage to the boss. And you need them to go one after the other. And if one um, does too much damage, it's going to ruin the run. So I wouldn't put any damage or any points into crit damage or ignore defense because that will mess up the run so there's no point you don't need to put any resources into spider den at the moment um ice golem i wouldn't bother with it either it it, it gives there is some all right gear in there but there's not gear that i'm like mad for it right now so i'd ignore ice golem as well i mean if you really really want to and you want to solo farm ice golem then maybe you do want to put resistance accuracy HP and defense in there so you can solo farm it maybe on stage 25 um, you might you know with this um, arena bonuses being added to the game you know someone like Bad L 
he might be able to solo farm um, stage 10 hard mode. We don't know yet, but maybe in the future. And then also you might put some speed in there as well to make him faster. But that's only if you really, really want to solo it. Personally, I wouldn't want to touch it. I'd rather focus on Dragon's Lair and Fire Knight. So Fire Knight has definitely got the best gear in the game because it's got Savage. So I'd rather focus Fire Knight over Dragon's Lair. But at the moment, I will focus Dragon Lair first just because it's so hard to build um, team comps for Fire Knight um, hard mode at the moment. So what I would do is focus Dragon's Lair first so I can get loads of speed gear, which is great for Live Arena. And things that I'd be focusing, so it depends what your account's like at the moment. So say you're struggling to stay alive, I'd go HP and defense, and then I'd focus on damage. So then I'd go ignore defense and then crit damage, and then you can take out the enemies faster. So at the moment, my team is able to survive this. Um, so I'm using Brogni with his big fat shield. So that is helping me survive and get through stage 10. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to speed up the run, then I'm going to bring in ignore defense, and then I'm going to bring in the crit damage so I can get through it faster. Now, Fire Knight is an interesting one. So I think a good way, because the boss has got so many shields, you need to be fast to be able to do it. I would focus on speed first. So getting that plus 20 speed is huge. This is really going to help you chip the shield down so you can start doing damage to the boss. Then the next thing I'm going to do is basically focus on crit damage. Or so ignore defense first and then crit damage. So I can do loads of damage to the boss and the waves and just start farming Fire Knight faster. And last but not least, Potion Keep. I wouldn't bother putting any effort or energy into this. You know, Potion Keeps are so easy to farm, especially level 20. I mean, maybe if it's a lower account, you might want to put HP, defense, speed, um, ignore defense and crit damage in there. But it's probably not necessary. It is really easy to farm potion keeps and it's probably better to invest in the dungeons or the clan bosses. You'll get a lot more out of it. And to be honest, you know, I don't really touch the potion keeps. Like I basically took a week off from doing tournaments and events. I just focused on uh, potion keeps and the amount of potions that I've got from doing that for a whole week covered me as a free to play player for about eight months so you don't need to do potion keeps that often it's not worth your time but yeah so that is pretty much the end of the video guys i hope this helps you out if anyone's got any tricks or tips please drop a comment below and yeah please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video peace